Hello students, welcome to Learners Planet and welcome to our theory session of atoms, molecules and compounds. In this session, we will be practicing the balancing of chemical equations. In the previous session, we discussed about the rules, that is the rules for balancing the chemical equation. It was nothing but a hit and trial method. So, we'll be balancing few chemical equations in this session. So, just take paper and pen with you and you also try to balance the equation. Now, students, don't just listen to this session. You try to do that. You try to solve the question. You try to balance the equation, whatever is given. So, let's start with it. Sit with your paper and pen. Fine. If you don't have, just pause the session and get pen and paper with you. Now, here is a question. Balance the following chemical equations. So, there are many chemical equations which we'll have to balance. Now, what is it? Sodium with chlorine giving sodium chloride. Now, check out for LHS, just first write LHS and RHS. What all are the elements here? Sodium, Chlorine. That's it. How many atoms of sodium are there on the LHS side? It's 1. RHS side, it's 1. How many atoms of Chlorine are there on the LHS side? 2. And the number of atoms of Chlorine on the RHS side, it's 1. How can you make it 2? If we can just multiply this or you can just put a 2 in front of NaCl. So, Na plus Cl2 is giving us what? 2 NaCl. Now, LHS and RHS. RHS is the product side and LHS is the reactant side. So, number of atoms of sodium, 1. RHS side, now it has become 2. Then, chlorine. Number of atoms of chlorine, H2 on the LHS side. And RHS side, it's also 2. Now, 1 sodium is less over here. Now, students, you are not allowed to put the subscripts. If at all, I'll put a subscript like this. Na2 plus Cl2 gives 2 NaCl. This equation of mine will be wrong. Why so? Because if I'm putting a subscript, it means that one molecule of sodium contains two atoms of sodium. Which is wrong. One molecule of sodium contains only one atom of sodium. So, uh, how are we going to balance it? We'll just put it 2 here in front of Na. So, it will be 2 Na plus Cl2 gives 2 NaCl. It's so simple. Just compare the number of atoms of each element on both the sides, that is the reactant side and the product side. And keep in mind, matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. So, none of the atoms should be missing and none of the atoms should be created. Right? Now, let's take another example. Can you balance this equation? It is very simple. Just compare the number of atoms, LHS, RHS. What all atoms are there? There is, or what all elements are there? Magnesium, hydrogen, chlorine. These are all the elements. On the LHS side, number of atoms of magnesium, 1. On the RHS side, it's also 1. Number of atoms of hydrogen on LHS is 1. That is the reactant and the product side. And RHS, it's 2. Number of atoms of chlorine is 1. But on the product side, it's 2. 
Now, how come this one atom of hydrogen and chlorine are created? It is not possible. So, what we can do, can we just put like this, magnesium plus C. Magnesium is 1 and 1. These are 1 and these are 2. So, what we can do, we can make it 2 HCl and it gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. Now, the equation is balanced. Magnesium, 1 atom. Magnesium, 1 atom on the product side. Hydrogen, 2 atoms on the reactant side. 2 atoms on the reactant side. Product side, sorry. Chlorine, 2 atoms on the reactant side. 2 atoms on the product side. MgCl2. There is a subscript over here. That is 2. So, the equation is balanced. Now, I will give you another equation. Let's see uh, if we can balance it or not. The Another equation of magnesium only. Magnesium plus water gives magnesium hydroxide and H2. The magnesium hydroxide formula is MgOH twice because the valency of magnesium is 2 and OH is OH is a radical and it's minus 1. So we cross multiply the numbers with the symbols and we'll get magnesium hydroxide. Can you balance, just pause the session and balance this equation? Can you do that? It's very simple students. Just first of all write down LHS and RHS. If this is confusing you, left hand side and right hand side, do write down the reactant side and the product side. We can do that also. Okay. So, we can write down the reactant side and the product side. No, no problem. Number of atoms of magnesium, 1, 1. Number of atoms of hydrogen, 2 on the reactant side, 2 on the product side. No, it's 4. To this and to this. So, number of atoms of hydrogen on the product side is 4. So, we'll put it as 4. Now, number of atoms of oxygen on the reactant side, 1. Number of atoms of oxygen on the product side, it's 2. Now, what is needed to be balanced? It's water. Okay, so, what can I do? Can I write the equation like this? Magnesium, it is balanced. The number of atoms are equal. And if I put a 2 in front of water molecule, now, is this equation balanced? plus H2. Now, is this equation balanced? How many magnesium was balanced? Right? Magnesium, one atom, one atom. Hydrogen, now there, is, there are four atoms. So, four atoms and two plus two. Four atoms of hydrogen. Oxygen, two atoms. Oxygen, two atoms. So, the equation is balanced. This equation would have been Mg plus twice of H2O gives MgOH twice plus hydrogen. Were you able to balance it? It was very simple. Now let's balance this equation. Sodium solid plus water liquid gives NaOH plus H2. It's very simple students. Reactant side, product side. Do this exercise, right? Now, sodium, what all elements are there? Sodium. First of all, write the elements in a line. Right? Right? Say, elements are sodium, then it's hydrogen, then it's oxygen. Fine? 
here is there any other new element no now number of atoms of sodium on the reactant side one on the product side one hydrogen on the reactant side it's two on the product side it's three this is one and this is two that is three number of atoms of oxygen one and this side it's one now what is needed to be balanced it's hydrogen fine now if i put a two in front of h2o let's see what i'll get any solid plus 2 h2o is giving na oh plus of h2 is this balanced now now on the sodium on the reactant side is 1 product side is 1 hydrogen on the reactant side has become how much 4 now so it's 4 hydrogen on the product side is 3 oxygen on the reactant side has become 2 and oxygen on the product side is 1 only now let's first balance oxygen okay how can i balance oxygen now can i write the equation like this any solid plus 2 h2o is giving me can i write it uh, like we i have to balance oxygen so i have to write it 2 naoh plus hydrogen now are the entities balanced let's see it are they balanced or is this equation balanced now i'll write the this equation that is in this equation sodium again i have to write hydrogen and oxygen reactant side product side sodium is one on the reactant side two on the product side hydrogen is four on the reactant side four on the product side this two hydrogen and this two hydrogen oxygen is two on the reactant side and two on the product side now what is left sodium now what can be done can we write the equation like this two sodium plus two h2o is giving 2 naoh plus of h2 now again check out sodium hydrogen oxygen reactant side product side sodium 2 sodium 2 hydrogen 4 hydrogen 4 oxygen 2 oxygen so the equation is now balanced so what will be the balanced chemical equation for this two or atoms of sodium plus two molecules of water is giving two molecules of sodium hydroxide and one molecule of hydrogen so now this is a balanced chemical equation fine I hope you have understood this. Now I'll be taking few more equations. Now let's balance this equation. CH4 that is methane is burnt in air or uh, the street is burnt in air giving carbon dioxide and water. Now is this equation balanced? it's 2h2 already given over here now is this equation balanced let's check out first of all you have to write reactant side and the product side what all elements are present carbon hydrogen and oxygen got my point so now check out what all how many atoms are there of carbon 
one atom on the reactant side, one atom on the product side. Hydrogen, four atoms on the reactant side, four atoms on the product side. So balanced, no issues. Now, oxygen, two atoms on the reactant side and how many atoms on the product side? Two plus two, four. So it's two atoms on the reactant side and four atoms on the product side. How will you balance oxygen now? Just put it two in front of oxygen because this side is deficient. Reactant side. The equation will become CH4 plus 2O2 and is giving us what? CO2 carbon dioxide plus 2H2O. Now is the reaction balanced or this equation balanced? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Carbon on the reactant side is 1. Product side is 1. Hydrogen on the reactant side is 4. On the product side is 4. Oxygen on the reactant side is 4. Oxygen on the reactant side is this 2 plus 2. Again a 4. So the equation is now balanced. So what will be the balanced chemical equation of this? Just put a 2 in front of oxygen. Got it? Now let's take few more equations. Now this equation, that is the reaction of hydrogen sulfide, sulfide with oxygen giving water and sulfur dioxide. Now again, the first step, reactant side and the product side. The elements present, hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen. Number of atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side, 2. Number of atoms of hydrogen on the product side, 2. Number of atoms of sulfur on the reactant side, 1. Product side, 1. Number of atoms of oxygen on the reactant side, 2. Number of atoms of oxygen on the product side, see it's 2 plus 1, 3. Now what is needed to be balanced is oxygen. Now let's first balance oxygen. Now if I put a 3 in front of this oxygen, what will happen? H2S plus 3O2 gives H2O plus SO2. It's still not balanced. Oxygen here is 6 and here is 2 plus 1, 3. Now again, let's see the reactant side and the product side. Hydrogen, oxygen, sulfur. Hydrogen, 2. Hydrogen, 2. Oxygen, 6. Oxygen is 3. Sulfur is 1 and 1. So the oxygen is still not balanced. Now what can we do? Can I put a 2 over here in uh, this uh, SO2? Now if I will put a 2 over here, then what the equation will become? Now how many atoms of each are there? Hydrogen, 2 atoms. On the product side, it's 2. Sulfur, how many atoms are there? On the reactant side, it's 1. And on the product side, it has become 2. So 1 and 2. Oxygen, it is 6. And on the product side, it's 2 to 2. 2's are 4 plus 1. It's still not balanced, students. So you have to keep on trying, right? Now what was our equation? H2S plus what have we done? 
thrice of O2, 3O2, H2O plus 2SO2. Now let's balance the number of atoms of sulfur. Now if I am putting a 2 in front of H2S, then what will happen? Reactants, products. Hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen. Hydrogen is 4. Here it's 2. Sulfur is 2. Sulfur is 2. Now, oxygen is 6. And now, oxygen is 5 over here. Now, let's first balance hydrogen. Right? Maybe oxygen is balanced after that. Now, let's put a 2 in front of water. So, what will be the equation? What will now? H2S twice of H2S plus rise of O2 gives 2H2O plus 2SO2. Now, let's check out. Is the equation balanced? Hydrogen. How many atoms are there on the reactant side? 4. Sulfur. How many atoms are there on the reactant side? 2. And here it's 2. So it's 2 and 2. Oxygen. How many atoms are there on the reactant side? It's 6. On the product side, it has become 2 plus 4. 6. Hydrogen is 4 on the reactant side. And on the product side, it is also 4. So, the number of atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side is equal to the number of atoms of hydrogen on the product side. Likewise, sulfur on the reactant side is equal to the sulfur on the product side. I am talking about the number of atoms. So, now this equation is balanced. Got it? So, it's twice of H2S, that is two molecules of hydrogen sulfide react with three molecules of oxygen forming two molecules of water and two molecules of sulfur dioxide. So, this was a bit complicated one. There were many elements. But students, you should remember one thing that Come what? What is whatever is the number of elements? You have to just write them in a line vertically and then just compare the number of atoms. Now let's take another equation. You two balance please. Now you can just pause the session over here, balance this equation and match the answer after that. So the first step in writing is what? Just write the elements. What all elements are present in the equation? Sodium. Then is nitrogen. Then is hydrogen. The reactant side. And the product side. Now, number of atoms of sodium on the reactant side is 1. Product side is also 1. Number of atoms of nitrogen on the reactant side is 1. And the product side is also 1. Now, number of atoms of hydrogen on the reactant side is 3. And the product side is now is the problem. How are we going to balance this? The product side is already having more number of hydrogen atoms. So what can we do is we can just put a 2 in front of ammonia. The equation will then become sodium plus 2NH3 giving NaNH2 and hydrogen. Now what is the scenario? It's sodium, nitrogen and hydrogen again. 
and the reactant and the product side sodium is 1 sodium is 1 then nitrogen is 2 product side it's 1 hydrogen is 6 product side it's 4 still unbalanced now the thing is nitrogen has also become unbalanced now let's first try to balance nitrogen what can we do we can just put where nitrogen is deficient on the product side so can we put it 2 on this side so the equation will now become what will be the equation now it will be sodium Na plus 2NH3 gives 2NaNH2 plus hydrogen. Right? Now again the reactant side and the product side. Sodium, nitrogen, hydrogen. Sodium is 1, product side it's 2. Nitrogen is 2, nitrogen is 2. Hydrogen is 6. Now on the product side it is 4 plus 2, 6. Now what is left to be balanced? It's sodium. Now what can we do is we can just put a 2 in front of sodium. Right? So 2Na plus 2NH3 gives gives 2 NaNH2 plus hydrogen are all the elements balanced now is the number of atoms on the right hand side that is the react sorry uh, the reactant side and the product side are equal are the number of atoms equal let's check out sodium 2, 2. Nitrogen, 2, 2. Hydrogen, it's 6 and this side is also 6. So now our equation is balanced. Right? I hope uh, you are, this, these, uh, this thing is clear to you now. So, it doesn't matter how many elements are present in the equation. What you have to do is just check out for the number of each, number of atoms of each element on the reactant and the product side. Now, let's take up this equation, students. It is what? Sodium hydroxide. Plus carbon dioxide the products are sodium carbonate and water now the first thing reactant side and the product side what all are the elements present sodium second is oxygen third is hydrogen Fourth is carbon. Right? Now the number of atoms of sodium on the reactant side. One. On the product side. It's two. Number of atoms of oxygen on the reactant side. It's two plus one is three. This side. 3 oxygen and sodium carbonate and this one, 4. Unbalanced. Number of atoms of hydrogen is 1 over here on the reactant side and on the product side it's 2. So 1 and 2. Number of atoms of carbon, 1 and 1. Now, which of the entities we are going to balance first? I think uh, we should take up sodium hydroxide first. There are two sodium on the product side. There is one sodium on the reactant side. So first of all, we should put a 2 in front of NaOH. Plus of CO2 is giving what? Na2CO3 
plus of H2O. Now let's check out the things. The sodium, oxygen, hydrogen and carbon. Reactant side, product side. Sodium is 2 now on the reactant side. This sodium is 2 on the product side. Oxygen is now 2 plus 2, 4. And oxygen is 3 plus 1, 4. So it's 4 and 4. Getting it? 2 oxygen is here. 2 oxygen with, uh, with the carbon dioxide. So it's 4 oxygen. And 3 plus 1, 4. Then is hydrogen. It's 2 and 2. And what about carbon? 1 and 1. So the equation is balanced. Just by putting a 2 in front of sodium hydroxide. So our equation has become twice of sodium hydroxide plus of carbon dioxide is giving Na2CO3 plus of h 2 so, many a times what happens students is that the equation looks to be complex. See, there are so many elements in this equation. So many numbers are there. But you have to keep one thing in mind. Write the elements vertically. Write the reactant side, product side and just write the number of atoms of each element present in the reactant and the product side. And start balancing. Right? So, it's not that it's always a, a, it's a very complicated equation. It looks to be complicated and difficult because so many elements are there. But it's not that difficult. It's easy. Right? So, I hope you have understood this concept. And in the next session, now I'll be concluding uh, this session, students. And in the next session, we'll be practicing few more chemical equations. Right? So, thank you students and do attend the next session also so that this concept is clear in your mind or you are through with this concept. So, thank you once again and do have a nice time ahead.